So the Go Palestine Centre is located in the heart of Hebron. Looking at that from Australia, when I'd never been to Palestine before, it looked like it was deep um, in the trenches in the middle of um, the unknown. Getting to Hebron was easy. Uh, it's the biggest city in Palestine and that meant that there was yeah, plenty to do, plenty to see, uh, but also it really gave you a proper insight of what a Palestinian economy looks like. There's lots of stereotypes about Palestine being little villages and camels in the desert and rubbish like that, but Hebron was, yeah, it's a bustling city with lots of atmosphere. Um, the old city had to be a highlight, um, but also getting to go and drink lots of coffee and tea and the occasional shisha. So that was a big, a big highlight. Hebron's great. In terms of my daily schedule at the centre, what I really valued about the Go Palestine experience was diversity. So every day was different within the framework of my program. Um, I chose to take part in the internship of human rights and the Israeli-Palestine conflict. So that was made up of meetings with academics, journalists, um, NGOs, particularly um, having a focus on women's organisations and as one of the activists used, it's a two-sided war happening in Palestine, one externally but also internally. So it was great getting to hear the perspectives of uh, people who don't always have a voice in society. Yeah, learning Arabic in Palestine, um, my biggest takeaway was I'm incredibly thankful for the patience of my teacher. Um, being a native English speaker, and that being my only language, it was quite a challenge stepping into something like Arabic, which uses a different alphabet um, and system altogether. Uh, it was incredibly enriching though, um, getting to learn conversational Arabic rather than academic modern Arabic. Um, I was able to try and have conversations at breakfast and in the streets, um, which in terms of relationships is a big part of connecting to people, so I'm incredibly thankful for that. My first message to people considering visiting the Go Palestine Centre would be do it, so that's the first easy little answer. A big lesson I've learned being here, which I would recommend to others, is we really need to think about our purpose of visiting Palestine. It's not just your average, well, again speaking for myself, but white saviour going and visiting refugees and being the uh, privileged, entitled, handout person. You really need to come in with an open heart and willingness to learn. There's a lot of needs here that people are equipped to tell you and I would advise that when visiting, come in a position to learn because there is a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom here which is not portrayed in our media. So it's very important that you've got an open heart and also um, come with an empty stomach because you'll get fed so much food <laughs> so leave room for that as well.